I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll show you a technique to find the quadratic equation when complex roots are given to us. The question here is write a quadratic function which can have 6 plus 2i as a root. Now we are given one root which is 6 plus 2i. Always you know complex roots are in pairs. So let's write down. Complex roots are always in conjugate pairs. So if we are given one root, then the roots are 6 plus 2i. This is what is given. The other root has to be 6 minus 2i, right? So that is the first statement. Now we need to find a quadratic function which has these two as its root. Now that quadratic function, let us say y, can be equal to x minus first root which is 6 plus 2i, right? So that becomes the first factor times x minus the other root which is 6 minus 2i, right? Now we can expand and simplify this to get the quadratic equation. Now this is one method of finding quadratic equation. So let's do it. So we have x times x which is x square. Then we have x times which is minus x times 6 minus 2y. Let's multiply with the second factor which is minus 6 plus 2y times x. And then we have minus minus becomes plus product of these two which is 6 plus 2i times 6 minus 2i. So we get this kind of an expression. Now you will see that the middle term is like combination of two, two, two roots and the last term is product. So that is sum and product. I hope that reminds you that any quadratic equation given its root could have been written as equal to x square minus. Let me take x common here. Then what do we get? We get 6 minus 2i. I have taken minus x common. So we get plus 6 plus 2i. Is that okay? And here we have the product. So we can multiply them. 6 times 6 is 36 minus 6 times 2i gives us 12i. 2i times 6 is plus 12i. And 2i times 2i with a minus sign here gives us minus 4i square. Okay. Now let's expand this. Combining these terms, we get 6 plus 6 as 12. So we get 12x minus 2i plus 2i cancel plus 36 minus 12y plus 12y cancel so you get 0 here i square is negative 1 so you get plus 4 and that gives us the equation x square minus 12x plus 40 correct so that is one method of finding the equation we could have uh, also started with this that the equation y is equals to x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots right so we could have started like this given two roots so then at that case we could have written kind of this statement and sum of roots is there product of roots and found the quadratic equation. I'll call this as my method one. Now let me share the second method. In the second method, I like to draw your attention to the roots of quadratic equation. If the equation is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c then what are the roots then x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac 
divided by 2a correct now we need to find this quadratic equation we are given the value of x the roots correct let us use this concept to find the equation so what we are given here is the value of x so we know that x is equal to 6 plus minus 2i that is what is given to us that means this value is 6 plus minus 2i now let me write this in the form given to us we could write this as 6 plus minus within square root what could we write if i take this within the square root then the square will be 4i square that is minus 4 right so minus 4 square root is 2i you can think like this correct now or uh, let's see like this i wanted to have this value here so if you compare the equation then what do you see we'll do this comparison and find the values of a b and c okay so let us assume that or let me rewrite this equation in another form i could also write this as look here 6 plus 2i so so i could write this as 6 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 let me write like this 2 square root is let's say minus 1 for i is it okay now i'm writing like this but i want to get something denominator 2 i can factor out 2 here and i could write this as 3 plus minus square root of minus 1 so i'm factoring 2 out do you get the idea so so if i factor 2 out or or let me let me do it again okay that's fine so let's do it here so we will compare with this equation we have x as equals to 6 plus minus 2i let's redo as 2i i want to write this in this quadratic equation form okay so i want 2 in the denominator so if i want 2 in the denominator i could multiply each value by by 2 so i get 12 plus minus 4i does it make sense okay now I want something within the square root okay so so what I'm trying to say here is to get that value within the square root I could write this as 12 plus minus divided by 2 within square root I can write 4 as 16 i square as minus so minus 16 does it make sense okay so let us say we rewrite our roots as shown here now comparing what can you say about a b and c so from here you can say a is one right so two times one so let us say this is uh, let me use a different thing so we could write this as two times one as two is that okay so we could say a equals to one b is 12 with a minus sign do you see that so b equals to this 12 with a minus sign is it okay now to find c we know b square minus 4ac should be equal to whatever is within the square root is that okay so i'm writing b square minus 4ac should be equal to minus 16. since we know what b is we can substitute the value of b we know what a is which is 1 we can find c so here we get minus 12 whole square minus 4 times 1 times c equals to minus 16. Now solving we can get 4c we are taking this to the right side minus 12 whole square is 144 taking 16 to this side is plus 16 equals to 4 times c right. Now you can find the value of c by dividing this combination by 4. Let me push the page a bit. Okay. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 1. 6, 160 divided by 4 is the value of c. And that gives you the value of 40. Do you see that? So what we have done here in method number 2 
is written our root in the form of the quadratic formula and then we have compared the coefficients comparing these coefficients we got our values we got a as 1 b as minus 12 and c as 40 do you see that and since these values are 1 do you see the equation we can write down our answer which will be exactly same as we got earlier a is 1 b is minus 12 and c is 40 for us right i hope with this you understand how without doing these calculations we could find the quadratic equation using the roots directly as shown here i like you to go through this once again so that you understand what kind of juggling we did at this stage to get to a stage where we could read the values without calculations. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.